Okay, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use fades. Uh, just for a real quick tip, if you want to, uh, if you're in the show and you need to hard stop, you hit stop twice. It's called panic all. So no matter what's playing, your music, your everything, it just shuts down the entire show. Um, if you hit it twice, it's a hard stop. Boom, cuts everything off. If you uh, just hit it once, you will get a beautiful couple second fade out. And I'm pretty sure in settings you can adjust how long that uh, fade out happens. But I do use that in the show in emergencies if I need to kill something. Um, the audience doesn't have a clue because everything fades out like it was supposed to happen. We're gonna go to um, the actual uh, fade cue here. We're gonna drag it um, to the bottom. It's gonna hit stop here just for a second. And uh, we're going to put that right underneath there like this, okay? Now the fade cue has an X because it doesn't know what it's fading. So to get a fade cue to work, just like an audio, we're gonna grab the video uh, still image and we're gonna drop it right on top like that. Now, it's still not working. Why? Because it knows what image we're talking about, but it doesn't know what you want it to do, okay? So in this case, the uh, we're gonna fade in the graphic. So the uh, we're gonna go to fade, highlight fade, and uh, we're gonna go to geometry and we're gonna click the opacity button. Now the opacity is set at 100% and that's what we want, we want it to fade in. So, what's gonna confuse you in most cases is if you fire this and you fire the fade, it doesn't do anything. And that's because the original graphic was already set to 100% opacity, so there's nothing to fade up because it was already there, okay? So uh, we're gonna hit stop and after you've added the fade, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna lower the curtain image to 0% by dragging that down to 0 or simply typing number 0, okay? So now when we fire the curtain cue, it shows on the screen that there's something there, but it's black, 0 opacity. So now when we fire the fade curtain cue, you're going to watch right here in the action window over a 3 second period, that cue is going to fire in and fade that backdrop into place, okay? Now you can also alter the amount of time that it takes. You can go to 10 seconds, all right? And uh, we'll do that again. We can fire a curtain, and then we can fade the curtain in. And now over a 10 second period, it fades in nice and pretty. Um, there's some cool things you can do like uh, layering things and having things fade in slowly behind objects, which I do in my show once in a while, which is really nice and subtle. Uh, you'll use the fade cue all of the time. Um, you don't want the fade, uh, you don't want things like live cameras just snapping in, it just looks horrible. Make sure they fade in nice and pretty. <laughs> pretty, I don't know why it's pretty, but it looks nice. Um, to fade out, same exact procedure, you can either just co copy that and paste it, which is uh, just like in texting, you know, in text is Apple C, Apple V, or Command C, Command V. You can tell I'm old school, I still say Apple. Um, the reason it's easier to copy is the fact that it's already been connected to the queue you want, so you don't need to reconnect the queue. Your work's already done. Now to make it fade out, you're simply gonna go here, and you're gonna lower the opacity to zero, okay? We're gonna get this out of the way just so it doesn't confuse anybody. And so we're gonna label this fade out, and we're gonna label this fade in. Um, and because the queue number is one right here, it shows the target is one and one, showing that it's working with queue number one, which is the curtain queue, all right? So now fade out is gonna click like this, and over a 10 second period, it's gonna fade that image out. Now, if you are going to be using that image again in the next 10 seconds, maybe this was just for a bow of the show, and at the end of the routine, you have the lights fade out and the backdrop fades out, and then right after that, the lights come back on and the image come back, comes back on. That's fine. You can leave it this way, but if you notice, something is still running in the background, which means your memory is still running RAM, um, your QLab is still playing a video file that you can't see, and that's because you faded out the opacity, but you didn't stop the queue. It didn't stop. If you want it to stop, in most cases you do, you're gonna go here to fade out, and you're gonna click stop target when done, and this is under the geometry tab. So stop target when done, all right? Now, the difference is this time, we're gonna hit curtain, 
We're going to tell it to fade in. Let's make that four seconds on both of these just for demonstration purposes. We're going to hit fade in and in four seconds our backdrop comes in. And if you watch here the active cues, this is our curtain cue in the background. If I hit fade out, at the end of that, when it reaches the end, it's going to stop the cue. And now we're down to nothing plain at all, just a black surface, which is fantastic. Uh, if you happen to copy this and uh, make that a fade in cue, okay, so we're going to label this new fade in. Now, if you do that and go down here and fade this in, it'll go wrong because you left the switch on to stop and as soon as it faded in, it turned it off. I've done that by mistake a few times with the camera cues. I've used a out cue and then copied it, made it an in cue and forgot to uncheck the uh, stop cue at end and it ruined the whole routine. So uh, make sure you, you check your cues and you have stop target when done off. All right? So you, uh, you just got your very first fade in and fade out cue going and uh, let's go to the next video and I'll show you even more options with fade cues.